Hi, I'm Nathan Oakley and this is video log number 62. Smokescreen Design did a response video to Will's Easy Guitar, who had gone out, Will that is, and filmed a curve from his perfectly levelled camera at the beach. And he went through, let's call it 180 degrees, and measured it out on his computer and showed that there's a curve. And posted this as a, a video labelled Flat earthers are full of shit. And it's great that people do this again. There's no such thing as bad publicity. I love it when people debunk flat earth because regardless of whether or not they're right or wrong in their debunking, it puts flat earth into the consciousness of people's minds. Um, so I had already popped a few comments on Will's video. I'd even shared one of his videos that had him pointing out the type of people that comment on YouTube videos. And he was right on the money. And I think the guy's a great guy, regardless of his use of pornographic actresses and bad language. You know, he's making good videos, even if some of them are a bit wayward. So he uses mathematics to define how the production of an instrument will, you know, have its sound produced. And I'm sure to a small extent you can define how these things will work through maths. But I'm sure if you spoke to somebody who'd been making violins for six generations that disagree and say you can't really define how an instrument will produce a sound through maths. But Will's Easy Guitar would disagree. And like many heliocentric believers, they think that they can define where we live using maths. Now, one of the comments on the response video that Smokescreen Design did said, we shouldn't see a curve even if we live on a ball. And I think John Le Bon also hinted at the same thing with one of his comments. And that is uh, that we shouldn't see a curve even if we do live on a ball. And really, this is kind of a nonsense. We get to see plenty of curves. If we lift off, uh, lift off our position from Google Earth, there's a really good model that we can illustrate this with. Now, maybe their point is that we just can't get high enough even on a high mountain to see a curve. But that's not the point. The two points that need to be stressed here are that A, we should see a curve at eight inches per mile squared. At a vast distance of ocean, we should have some measurable curve. Now, back to Will's Easy Guitars, who's got a curve in his video. He doesn't seem to understand that regardless of whether or not you use a fisheye lens or your altitude, through 360 degrees, you'll always see the horizon at eye level. And the point I wanted to try and get across that if you're on an aeroplane and you look out the window, which is curved, and you kid yourself into thinking that you can see a curve, the reality is that if you turn 180 degrees and look out at the opposite side of the plane, you'll see that the horizon does not fall to a lower level in a continuation of that curve you think you can see on the opposite side of the plane. Alas, the horizon is at eye level on both sides of the plane, regardless of what you think you can see in terms of a curvature. Now, the reason I've set up this shot with a giant exercise ball is to show that we would definitely see a curve if there was one and if we lived on a ball. We don't live on a ball. The horizon is at 360 degree eye level at any altitude. Regardless, the only people who show us different is NASA and we'll never be able to replicate it my brother-in-law, who I'm hoping to convince that, to send up a balloon, sh about three weeks ago showed me a Daily Mail article where a teenager had bought a cheap camera off eBay and sent it up on a helium balloon. Now, the lens showed curve all over the place, and the first thing I pointed out to my brother-in-law was, regardless of any portrayed curve because of the lens of the camera, the horizon as the camera spins is at the same level. The edges might be curved, but you can still see the horizon at the same level through 360 degrees. So, regardless of any portrayed curve, regardless of what people think we shouldn't be able to see if we lived on the globe, there should be a curve, it should fall away at 8 inches per mile squared, and it certainly shouldn't be at the same level through 360 degrees at every single altitude that us amateurs can take footage from or on any mountain top. I've been Nathan Oakley, I'll see you all in the next video.